chain of craters road is currently around mile marker 19 just at the hole sea arch and about a half a kilometer from the national park eruption viewing station good if distant viewing of the explosion cloud where lava enters the sea displays about the volcano and natural history of the area as well as a wealth of information on hiking to and viewing the lava are available here in addition Numerous sea arches, sea caves, fabulous bird watching, indescribable ocean views, and some pretty good biking are found here as well. Even if the lava flows are too far away to be easily hiked to, the hike along the new land, twisted lava forms and endless basalt landscape is well worth the drive to the end of the road. The end of the road is the second busiest area in the park when the lava is flowing here. At these times, rangers try to be available here to talk to visitors through most of the day and into the evening. Due to the popularity of this area, it is not uncommon to have to park as much as a kilometer or more from the end of the road. Hiking all the way out to the active flows is one of the most spiritually rewarding, awe-inspiring, curiosity-quenching and amazing things one can do anywhere in the world but it is neither for the physically unfit nor the meek of spirit. It is a long, hot hike over broken ground and glass-sharp rocks. The heat from the volcano is savage. The weather, if clear, is sweltering. The section on lava viewing has a great deal of important information regarding hiking on this active volcano. Be sure to review it so that you may approach the home of the goddess with respect, knowledge and awe, and return unscathed. Going to see the lava flow and the eruption of a living volcano may well be the adventure of your lifetime. Please be careful and pay attention to these warnings to make sure this is not the final adventure of your lifetime.